Tell me, you know, briefly, why you believe the investment game is rigged for most average investors, most members of the income generation, as we refer to our viewers. Yeah, the, the investing game is rigged because uh, all the big Wall Street firms and a lot of uh, financial gurus and ex so-called experts are basically very motivated to sell very bad financial products. Very, uh, financial product, products where they profit the most. So most people end up with, you know, these bad financial products where they think that uh, their money is working for them, but in reality, it's only working for the financial industry. You know, it's funny, I just mentioned uh, just a minute ago that, you know, the, the fiduciary responsibility of a Wall Street CEO is first to his shareholders and, and not to his customers or investors. So that means obviously that if, if there's two products or investments he could recommend, one that's really, really good for his company and just okay for investors, or one that's really good for investors and just okay for his company, he must recommend the former, not the latter, or he violates his fiduciary responsibility. So right. we're very much on the same page, but can you share the story of how you first learned about this system and when it first dawned on you that it really was rigged? Yeah, so uh, when I started in business, um, I started to, in my student years from totally from zero. And uh, in five years, uh, after five years of hard work, I became an overnight success. <laughs> so uh, I made a lot of money. This was, uh, you know, 2005 was the first year where I made a six figure income. And it was like dreams coming true for me. Uh, so, but I didn't want to spend all that money. You know, I, I'm not a person who would spend a lot. So I knew that I need to save, I need to invest. So I started to invest that money. But because I was an entrepreneur, I didn't have a clue about investing. I didn't have a clue about money management. So I trusted who? Yeah, you are probably right, uh, financial experts. And um, year after year, I gave them my money. So after several years of doing that, uh, we, me and my wife, we said to ourselves, okay, let's take a look at what is going on with our money. So we ordered all the account statements. And when they arrived in the envelopes, I went, hmm, are there some zeros missing? You know, but unfortunately, zeros were not missing. We lost most of our money. And that was the start of the darkest period of our lives. I almost lost my sanity. I almost um, lost my wife at the time. And um, I almost lost uh, my motivation to work. So it was a really dark, dark time for me. And um, I was very lucky then that uh, Brian Tracy, uh, who was my biggest mentor and one of our speakers at the events that we organized, um, he was, uh, uh, we, were, we were hosting him for the third time. And after mm -hmm. the seminar, I wanted to, I, 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 we went to dinner. And I told him all about my problems. And then he said something that totally changed my life. He said, Robert, it doesn't matter how much you earn. All that matters is if you have the skills to manage your money and to invest it. And at that moment, I realized I don't have these skills. So I made perhaps the most important decision of my life, and that was I will become one of the most financially literate people in this world. So that began my journey in the financial sector. 